Um, we stayed in a hotel for six weeks. It was hard because there was five of us in one room, two beds, and my house got destroyed and I lost everything. So we're not gonna go home. Two days after the hurricane, the water finally subsided, and when we saw the amount of damage that was done to the buildings, to the press boxes, the structural damage, the damage to our electric system, there was, there was a pit in your stomach. We sat down and said, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get this back up and running? Where do we even start with this whole mess? There was, you know, there was no financial support from the city or anybody. Everything is a right now type of new society that we live in. And yet, five months later, we still have plenty of people without houses and the media is gone. It was a devastating experience, but little by little, the community is getting itself built up and so is Staten Island Little League. Honda made a very substantial donation to help us get up on our feet. Tomorrow's our 61st season opening. I'm sorry, bro. One of the reasons why we're doing this is for the children. It's the only reason we're doing it. You know, we, they need a place to come back. They need a place to let loose and let off steam, their children. It gives them a little bit of time to, you know, separate themselves from the harsh reality of what happened, you know, just a few blocks from here. The key word we've been using all, all along is normalcy. We want to bring as much normalcy back to the children as possible. You could see it in their eyes when they, you know, they make a play, they make a catch, they get their first hit. You could see the excitement in them, in their eyes. You know, it means the world. It's tremendous. It's very emotional, you know. They're here today smiling and laughing and enjoying the special day today, but when they go home, there's it's a whole different story. But being here today, just kind of like forget about it for the moment. All the kids that play in this league, I would say 98% of them, all lost a home. And that in itself is something that they might not ever get over. And just for them to come out and play and have fun, it's a good thing. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna stop Staten Island. Nothing. We're gonna keep on fighting and we're gonna make it bigger and better.